And it's your question, Jacob. Number one, please. Number one, your question is, what is the main driver of global warming? What is the main driver of global warming? The burning of fossil fuels. Correct. One of it is burning fossil fuel or human activities. And it's your question, Sekope. Number eight. Number eight, your question. How does climate change affect food security? How does climate change affect food security? As we all know, climate change is a long-term shift for the Earth's climate. Since this shift can cause many damages, especially for foods, this can cause food to the expiry date to be more unrelatation. Not one of the answers I have here. Sorry, Sekope, I'll pass it on to you, Martin. How does climate change affect food security? So with climate change, there comes droughts, and uh, with droughts, causes the land to be less fertile. So um, uh, your, the food that you eat, such as crops and all. Uh, temperatures, uh, changes in precipitation patterns, changes in extreme water events or reductions in water availability may all result in reduced agricultural productivity and food security. The next question, it is yours, um, Martin. We have three, twelve, and nine. Uh, can I go with uh, question number three, please? Your question is, name a human activity that contributes to our greenhouse gas emissions from energy sector. Name a human activity that contributes to our greenhouse gas emissions from the energy sector. Uh, the, burning in, the burning of fossil fuels. Uh, All right, uh, correct. Thank you. Burning of fossil fuel and transportation and power generations. The next question it is yours for an hour. Number two. We have nine and 12 left. Two. Your question is, why are areas like Sopu, Siesia, Batangata considered vulnerable to the impacts of climate change? Why are areas like Sopu, Siesia, Batangata considered vulnerable to the impacts of climate change? Lowland areas. Come they, again? Are located, they are located in lowland areas. And, uh, yes, correct. Because they are located in low lying areas. And the last question goes to you, uh, Gordon. Uh, is question 12 available? Number nine, there are five processes of hydrological cycle. Name any one of the five processes of the hydrological cycle. There are five processes of hydro, hydrological cycle. Name one of the five processes. To um, estimate. Come again? To estimate. No, you have to name one. Oh, sorry, could you repeat the question? There are five processes of hydrological cycle. Name any one of those five. Evaporation. Sorry, not correct. Uh, your question, pass it on to you, Finefe Uyaki. Name one of the five processes of the hydrological cycle. Infiltration. Correct. It's infiltration, condensation, precipitation, or transpiration. So we have come to the end of uh, the first round, and the score is we have a tie, Tonga College 4, and Ocean of Light International with four points. So we hope we can decide this in the second round, 
And our second round is the general knowledge question. And we have the first question goes to you, Jacob. Number eight, please. Number eight. What year was Tonga's first NDC, or known then as INDC, Intended Nationally Determined Contributions, submitted to the UF, UNFCCC? What year was Tonga's first NDC, or known then as INDC, Intended Nationally Determined Contribution, submitted to the UNFCCC? Um, 2001. Sorry, no, pass that on to you. Sekope, what year was Tonga's first NDC, or known then as INDC, Intended Nationally Determined Contributions, submitted to the UNFCCC? 2015. Correct. 2015. And it's your question, Sekope. Question number one. Number one, your question is, who is Australia's Minister for Climate Change and Energy? Who is Australia's Minister for Climate Change and Energy? Your time is up. Pass that on to you, Martin. Who is Australia's Minister for Climate Change and Energy? Scott Morrison. Sorry, good try, but no last chance for Tonga College. Give it a guess, anyone. Correct answer was the honourable is the honourable Chris Bowen. The next question it is yours, uh, Martin. Um, question seven, please. Number seven. The planet is becoming warmer. Ideally, how much do we want to limit the global temperature increase to? The planet is becoming warmer. Ideally. How much do we want to limit the global temperature increase to? 1.5 degrees Celsius. Correct. 1.5 degrees Celsius. And it's your question uh, for an hour. Number six. Which country in the world withdrew from the Paris Agreement? Which country in the world withdrew from the Paris Agreement? United States of America. Correct. It's the United States of America. Your question, Gordon. Question uh, three. Number three. What is the name of the solar facility or farm on Ewa? Ewa Island. What is the name of that solar farm? Is it a <laughs> good try? But no. Pass it to you, uh, Finefe Uyaki. Uh, what is the name of the solar farm on Ewa? One last chance for Ocean of Light. Mata Toa. Sorry, not Mata Toa. The name is Huelo or Fungafonua. And the question is yours, uh, Finefe Uyaki. Number two. Number two. What is the name of the climate change legislation that was passed by Parliament? in August of last year. What is the name of the climate change legislation that was passed by Parliament in August of last year?
of our station. Sorry, no. Jacob, pass it to you. What is the name of the climate change legislation that was passed by Parliament in August of last year? Tongue of mitigation to climate change. Good try, but no. One last chance for Tonga College. Montreal Protocol. Sorry, not correct. Answer is the Tonga Climate Change Fund Act. And the next question is yours, Jacob. Number nine, please. Number nine. Which ministry or department is responsible for managing Tonga's national water tank project. Which ministry or department is responsible for managing Tonga's national water tank project? Uh, ministry of MADEC. Correct. It's MADEC or the Department of Climate Change. Your question, Sekope. Question is available. Got five, four, ten, eleven, twelve. Question twelve Where is the headquarters for the UNFCCC located? Where is the headquarters for the UNFCCC? Is it in Abiyahamo? No, that's not correct. I'll pass it on to you, uh, Martin. Where is the headquarter of the UNFCCC? Where is it located? In Belgium. Not correct. One last chance for Tonga College. Anyone? The correct answer is that it's in Bonn in Germany. And the next question is yours, Martin. Sorry, um, what? Four, no, five, sorry. ten, eleven. Uh, can I have question number eleven, please? Number eleven, your question is, this year's theme for Climate Change Awareness Week is building a resilient Tonga. What was the first theme for the National Climate Change Awareness Week in 2019? The, this year's theme for Climate Change Awareness Week is building a resilient Tonga. What was the first theme for the National Climate Change Awareness Week in 2019? Pass it on to you uh, for an hour. What is the theme for the National Climate Change Awareness Week in 2019? The one for this year is building a resilient Tonga. Sorry, anyone from Ocean of Light? Building a adaptive Tonga? Good try, but no. Correct answer is increase climate action to save Tonga. And the next question is yours for an hour. Four, five, or ten? Five. Your question, where is the Department of Climate Change and MADEC located? Where is the Department of Climate Change and MADEC located? I'll pass it on to you, Gordon. Where is the Department of Climate Change and MADEC located? I have a very bad sense of direction, but is Nukualofa an answer? I want specifically the where. Okay. 
It's, it's right, it's Nukalofa, but no, I won't give you the correct answer. Anyone from Tonga College? Auto Safe Building. Correct. It's OG Safe Building. Nukalofa. And the next question is yours, Martin. Ah, uh, sorry, Gordon. What numbers are available? Four and ten. Um, could I go with four? Number four. Your question. Tonga is one of the developing countries that have designated a national designated authority, or NDA, or focal point, paving the way towards unlocking GCF resources for climate solutions. Who is the focal point in Tonga to the Green Climate Fund, or otherwise known as GCF. Tonga is one of the developing countries that have designated a national designated authority, or NDA, or focal point, paving the way towards unlocking GCF resources for climate solutions. Who is the focal point in Tonga to the Green Climate Fund, or otherwise known as GCF. The focal point is Tongatapu's overall um, tree count, planting trees. Good try, but not the correct answer. Pass that on to you, Finifiwiaki. Who is the focal point in Tonga to the Green Climate Fund, or otherwise known as GCF. I want a name. Sorry, one last chance for Ocean of Light. The ME and MS. Sorry, no. Um, correct answer is the CEO for, for MEDEC, Mr. Paula Mao. He's the focal point. And the last question is yours, uh, Finefe Uyaki, number 10. Which island group in Tonga received a donation of 169 water tanks in June this year, funded by the New Zealand Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade, or MFED, and Tyndall Foundation. Which island group in Tonga received a donation of 169 water tanks in June this year, 2022, funded by the New Zealand Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade, or MFET, and Tyndall Foundation? Japan. Sorry, not correct. And uh, pass it on to, to Gordon. Which island received the 169 water tanks? Um, do we have to label a specific island? Yes, specific island in Tonga. Baba, is it um, Vavau? Good try, but no, one last chance for Tonga College. Hapai. Not Hapai. So obviously you don't listen to the news. Eh? The answer is new for all. Very sorry about that. New for all received 169 water tanks, and they lucky. So that brings us to the end of round two. And um, Tonga College, got another three points, and Ocean of Lights, another two points, bringing the total score to seven points to Tonga College and six points to Ocean of Light. So, thank you, Ocean of Light, for being good competitors, and thank you, Tonga College. Congratulations for moving on to our final round. So, can we give them another round of applause, please? And you can both 
move down and sit there. We'll call you for the game third for third and fourth place, as well as the final game. Testing. Testing. Kataki kamu tu pas pasi imaya ikuna koya itau. Kolis tonga my Ocean of Light International School na ikuna ya ihe kolis tonga. Bea ketawa mai kita orang Mali itau polkalama ke Aoni. Aku tui pe aku malolo ay ay polkalama. Kau ihe fenga Mali ko ini. Kataki kamu tu pas pasi imaya ikuna koya itau. Kolis tonga, my ocean of life. Hei, tewa kau ini kau nak ikut naya ikut kolis tonga. Aku kau leh ni ke fahaku aiki kipape. Kau eh, hei time tatau eh, aku aipe kipai mama kau pemu kipai mama lo kau hi ke tau. Mau ibi pe kipai mali kau ini. Hokku tu kau ya tau final lo. Ayah elaki fetau laki ay ay kolis kau tai lulu pemu ocean of light. Ihe tau kihe tolu pa moe fa Pe hiri ko ia pa tok fainolo ai Ai kolis ko lave nga maali e pa moe kolis tonga Ife nga maali e ko eni ko kole heni ki a kihe a selo wunga Me he Department of Climate Change kene faka hokat pe a ki fo i hiva Pe he ko always stay humble and kind Aro Tamil pun kiri, malah ramai kita tahu ai Kristal itu rupa mui Ocean of Light kiri, final rupa itu rupa kau fa, pernah bangga Maria lewa, pernah Kristal mah kiri ulah kiri mui wa, kalau kau yang kita ni tiada yang kau tahu wa, kau ni for me tiada Tamil ni, kau tak kau tahu. Tis, tis, tis. Humble and You know there's a light that glows by the front door Don't forget the keys under the mat When childhood starts shine Always stay humble and kind 
go to church cause your mama says to visit grandpa every chance that you can it won't be a waste of time always stay humble and kind hold the door say please say thank you don't steal don't cheat and don't lie I know you've got mountains to climb, but always stay humble and kind. When the dreams you're dreaming comes to you, when the work you put in is realized, let yourself feel the pride, but always stay humble and kind. Don't expect a free ride from no one Don't hold a grudge or a chip and here's why Bitterness keeps you from flying Always stay humble and kind Hold the door, say please, say thank you Don't steal, don't cheat and don't lie I know you got But always stay humble and kind When it's hot, eat a root beer, popsicle Shut off the AC and roll the windows down Let that summer sunshine Always stay humble and kind The love this life gives you When you get to where you're going Don't forget to turn back around Help the next one in line Always stay humble and Always stay humble and kind. Kataki kata o hoko a toipe ki he ulaki va inga fainolo o e fiafini. Ke te ilo a ia koe tau ka sete a e aho. A ia koe tailulu, ko olis ko tailulu a moe Ocean of Light International School. I would like to invite the... Tailulu College and Ocean of Light International um, Schools um, teams to the stage um, to proceed with the final um, game. Katake te fakaunga tai pe tau kau sponsa. Ki he polokalama kui se aho ko ini. Aya ko panke falakalaka tonga, Tonga Development Bank, GCCA Plus Super Project, SPREP, Nishi Trading, Tonga Pure Water Limited, Tonga Corporation Communication, Embassy of the People's Republic of China, MNJ Water, Water Tank Company, Spare Parts Zone Tonga, a County and Sons Limited, Waste Authority Limited, Betani Quarry, Pacific Timber and Hardware, Tonga Brock Compo Casting, Office Equipment Limited. For my law, Lahi and Yikinga, he sponsored Goini, and I called Taha Goini, in our Lele, and now for Kapa Anga, my Akife Aohi, Talifehui, I feel you work 
call it see. Kataki kole atu he niki he timi goya me hi tailulu kai uma ai timi ocean of light. Ke nalama mai ki he Stacy ke fakahoko ai ai finalo. Aya ko e taoeni ki he tolu pa moi fa e fe au hi tarife hui mai nga he ako kole si. I would like to invite um, the ocean of light team and tailulu college team to the stage. Please make way, uh, make our way up to the stage, and um, we will have our final game for the third and fourth place for the quiz competition. Thank you. Final year, Goko. I go lucky he came here. Go a ocean of light, I'm a Christian Lulu. Koi kuna e tolu, peke urungia e faia. Toki fe ahlewa ki e uloki mo e ua, ai kristonga, pola mea mari. College and Ocean of Lights International, and we are playing for third and fourth place. Once again, we'll follow the same rules for the for the semifinals. And please note, we have the subject question numbers over there on the board, as well as the general knowledge numbers. So you look at it. If the number is still standing there, you can pick it. But we will try for the who will answer the questions first. We have the toss, the coin. Anyone in shout out, head or tail? So Ocean of Light is saying tails. It is tails. And the question, the first question will go to um, Ocean of Light. So, our subject question, your question, uh, Jacob. Number four, please. Number four, your question is, name one major greenhouse gas release from the waste sector. Name one major greenhouse gas released from the waste sector. Methane. Come again. Um, methane, methane. Correct. Methane or methane? And it's your question, uh, Manuvaha. Number one, your question is, what is the process of making changes in order to reduce the vulnerability of a community, society, or system to the negative impacts of climate change? What is the process of making changes in order to reduce the vulnerability of a community, society, or system to the negative impacts of climate change. Afforestation. Sorry, not the correct answer. I'll pass that on to you, Martin. Adaptation. Adaptation. Correct. Adaptation is the correct answer. And it's your question, Martin. Question number seven, please. Number seven, identify or name a group of people in the population that are particularly vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. Identify or name a group of people in the population that are particularly vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. The elderly and disabled. Thank you. Elderly or people with disabilities. 
children, youth? It's your question, Ryan. Number nine, please. Number nine. Your question is, what is meant by mitigation of disaster risks? What is meant by mitigation of disaster risks? Keeping it at sustainable rates. Sorry, no. I'll pass it on to you, Gordon. What is meant by mitigation of disaster risks? Lowering the, lowering the factors that contribute to a high risk of uh, disasters. Okay, I'll give that to you. And it is your question, uh, Gordon. Question eight. Number eight, your question is, what is the process of reducing or limiting the levels of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere? What is the process of reducing or limiting the levels of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere? Sorry, your time is up, but I'll pass it on to you, Olivia. What is the process of mitigation or reducing of what is the process of reducing or limiting the levels of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere? To turn to the use of sustainable transport or energy. Sorry, not correct. Anyone from uh, mitigation? Correct. It's mitigation. And it's your question, uh, Olivia. Question number three. Your question is, name a human-induced activity that releases greenhouse gas from the waste sector. Name a human-induced activity that releases greenhouse gas from the waste sector. The burning of rubbish no not the correct answer i'll pass it on to you jacob name a human induced activity that release greenhouse gas from the waste sector um uh, driving fossil fuel cars driving cars no not correct another chance for dilul pollution not correct Correct answer I wanted was improper disposal of solid waste or compassion of waste. And it's your question, um, Jacob. Uh, number 12, please. Number 12, your question is, what is the projection for Tonga's future cl climate in terms of its air and sea surface temperature? Um, it is projected to increase in Correct. temperature. Thank you. Increase in temperature, and this will continue to increase. Your question, Manuvaha? Number 10. Number 10. Your question, solar is a renewable energy source in Tonga. The transition to renewable energy is important to help reduce our greenhouse gas. Name one other renewable source of energy. Solar is a renewable source of energy in Tonga. The transition to renewable energy is important to help reduce our greenhouse gas. Name one other renewable source of energy. Windmill. Correct. It's the wind power of the windmill. And it's your question, Martin. Question number five, please. Number five. Due to climate change, one of the projections for Tonga's future climate is 
stronger but fewer cyclones occurring as we have experienced recently with tropical cyclone Harold and Kita. Give one example of how Tonga is adapting to or how we can better adapt and prepare for stronger cyclones. To build more evacuation centers for people whose houses may get destroyed during a cyclone? Yes, correct. Thank you. Your question, Martin? Question number two, please. Number two. Your question. The relocation of the new Ui Hospital in Hapai from its original location to higher ground is an adaptation action. What was the main climate change issue affecting the original location of the new Ui Hospital? Relocation of the new Ui Hospital in Hapai from its original location to higher ground is an adaptation action. What was the main climate change issue affecting the original location of new Ui Hospital? Rising sea levels and coastal erosion. Correct. It's the rising sea level or sea level rise. And the next question, uh, Ryan. 11. Number 11, how does non-renewable energy contribute to climate change? How does non-renewable energy contribute to climate change? Non-renewable energy emits greenhouse gases which traps the heat in our earth. Correct, I'll give that to you. The last question is yours, uh, Gordon, number six. From the science of the ozone layer, what does ODS stand for and what their impact and what is their impact on the ozone layer? ODS, what does it stand for and the impact on the ozone layer? ODS stands for ozone depleting substance and its effect is um, leaving gaps in the ozone due to a higher concentration of uh, gases such as... Thank you. Uh, That's oh. the correct answer. And that brings us to the end of our first round. And the score stands... Dalulu College with two points and Ocean of Lights with five points. Sorry. Eight? Nine points, sorry. Nine points. Can we give them a, a both a big round of applause? And our first question for this round, which is the last one, general knowledge, I'll give it to Manuel Baja. Number four, your question, Manuel Baja, how has the global average temperature changed since the Industrial Revolution? How has the global average temperature changed since the Industrial Revolution? Boss. Jacob? Um, it has increased um, since the Industrial Revolution till now. It, the average temperature has increased. Okay, I'll give it to you. It has increased by more than one degree Celsius. And it's your question, um, Jacob. Um, number eight. Number eight, your question is, when was Tonga's second nationally determined contributions admitted to UNFCCC? When was Tonga's second nationally determined contributions, or NDC, submitted to UNFCCC? 2017. Sorry, no, pass it to you, Ryan. When was Tonga's second nationally determined contribution submitted to UNFCCC? 2018. No, one last chance. 
for Ocean of Lights. 2020? Correct, 2020. And our next question goes to Ryan of Tailula College. Number seven. Number seven, your question. Who is the director of meteorology for Tonga? Who is the director of meteorology for Tonga? Pass. I'll pass it on to you, Martin. Who is the director of meteorology for Tonga? Your time is up. Anyone from Tailulu? Correct answer is Ofa Fanunu. And it's your question, uh, Martin. Um, question number 12, please. Number 12. Name the parish or church where the opening of this year's Climate Change Awareness Week and prayer service was held last Sunday. Your time is up. I'll pass it on to you, Olivia. Name the parish or church where the opening of this year's Climate Change Awareness Week and prayer service was held. This was last Sunday. Wesleyan Church. Sorry. One last chance for Ocean of Light. Sorry, could you say the question one more time? No, I okay. won't repeat the question, sorry. Um, Havelu? Not correct. The correct answer was the All Saints Anglican Church. And it's your question, Olivia. Number one, your question is, which bank funded Tonga's largest climate resilience project sector with a total of 20 million US dollars. Which bank funded Tonga's largest, uh, largest climate resilience project sector with a total of 20 million dollars? World Bank. No, I'm sorry, not the World Bank. Gordon, it's your question. Which bank? Um, TDB. No, I'm sorry. One last chance for Tailulu. Bank of South Pacific. Good try, but the answer is the ADB or Asian Development Bank. And it's your question, um, Gordon. Question two. Number two, your question is, the Tonga Climate Change Policy provides the overarching framework for all climate action in Tonga. What year was the Tonga climate change policy introduced? 2016. Correct. 2016. Your question, uh, Manu Maha. Number three. Number three, your question is, Tonga's second joint national action plan on climate changes and disaster risk management, also known as the CHANAP 2, was launched in 2018. How many resilient targets are there in CHANAP 2? How many resilient targets are there in CHANAP 2? Seven. No, sorry, pass it on to you, uh, Jacob. Three. No, good try, but no, another chance. One last chance for Tailulu. Two. Two plus 20, 22 targets. It's your question, um, Jacob. 
Um, number five, please. Number five, your question is, what is the theme in Tongan for this year's National Climate Change Awareness Week? Um, I, I can't remember the rest. <laughs> Good try, but uh, you got half of it. Anyone? It's uh, sorry. It's your question, Ryan. What is the theme in Tongan for this year's National Climate Change Awareness Week? Thank you. And it's your question, Ryan. Um, number six. Number six, your question is, what is the international agreement that was endorsed during COP21 and ratified or signed by Tonga on the 21st of September 2016? What is the international agreement that was endorsed during COP21 and ratified or signed by Tonga on the 21st of September 2016? Pass. Pass that on to you, Martin. What is the name of the agreement, international agreement that was endorsed during COP21 and signed by Tonga on the 21st of September 2016. The Paris Agreement. Correct, it's the Paris Agreement. And it's your question, Martin. Um, question number nine, please. Number nine, your question, where in the Hapai Islands was the first solar farm or facility established? Where in the Hapai Islands was the first solar farm or facility established? Your time is up. I'll pass it on to you, Olivia. Where in the Hapai Islands was the first solar farm or facility established? Another chance, last chance for Ocean of Lights. Pangai? No, the island, it is Lifuka. The correct answer is Lifuka. And it's your question, uh, Gordon. Uh, sorry, no, it is Olivia's question. Question number 10. Your question, Olivia. What is the goal of the Tonga climate change policy? What is the goal of the Tonga climate change policy? To achieve a resilience Tonga by 2035. Correct. To achieve or to build a resilient Tonga by 2035. And the last question is yours, Gordon. 11. And the question is, name the main sponsor of the cash prices for the secondary school's climate change quiz competition. Who is the main sponsor? Once again, TDB Bank. Correct. The Tonga Development Bank. And that brings us to the end of the second round. And the score, Ocean of Light gained another five points. And Dailulu College, another two points bring the total scores to four points to Dailulu College and 14 points to Ocean of Lights. So, congratulations, Ocean of Light. You won the third place, and for Dailulu, the fourth place. Thank you, too, for joining us on this year's Climate Change National Quiz. Hello. Ocean of Light, 
，哎，有人去买我，就到我屋企。Kata ke mutu pas pasi mai ay kuna ay tolu ay ako Ocean of Light International Schools ina. Te au hiko ia pa moe kolistai lulu. Ko le ke tau hoko atau i pe ki he tau fa ose a hoko i ni. Ai ko fe au hia i he tau ia ki he raki pa moe ua. Fe au hiko isi ma e ngā hi ako kolisi. Ai ako kolis ko la venga maalie a moe kolis tonga malopito. Once again, can we give them a round of applause, please? Our finalists for this year's National Quiz on Climate Change, and we have uh, Lavinga Malia College versus Tonga College. And without further ado, we'll move on, but we'll take a toss, and we'll ask Silolo to head or tail. Tail it is, and the first question of this first round, which is our subject question, will go to Loving Amalia College, and it will be your question, Silolo. Please. Number eight, your question. Why are mangroves important for coastal communities when addressing the impacts of climate change? Why are mangroves important for coastal communities when addressing the impacts of climate change? To prevent, uh, to prevent um, coastal erosion. Thank you. Prevents or reduce coastal erosion or it supports food security of the communities. Thank you, Simlolo. And it's your question, Sekope. Question number one. Number one, your question is, define carbon footprint. Define carbon footprint. The process of using emissions that produces carbon dioxide. No, not the full answer I wanted, but I'll pass it on to Marconi. Define carbon footprint. Pass. One last chance for Tonga College. The process of using emissions in which it process in which emissions is used throughout and how it is and how it has damaged our climate. Sorry, I won't give you that, but the the correct answer I wanted was a carbon footprint is the total greenhouse gas emissions caused directly and indirectly by an individual organization's event of product. Our next question is yours, uh, Marconi. Question number five. Number five, your question is, from the science of ozone layer, Name two layers in the atmosphere that consist of the ozone. Name two layers in the atmosphere that consist of the ozone. Stratosphere and troposphere. Correct. Troposphere and stratosphere. Your question for an hour. 
Number three, your question, Tonga commits to achieve a 50% renewable energy target by the year 2020 with solar power as the key driver. How much percentage of that target has been achieved today? Tonga commits to achieve a 50% renewable energy target by the year 2020 with solar power as the key driver. How much percentage of that target has been achieved today? 35%. Sorry, not correct. Pass that on to you, uh, Crystal. How much percentage of target which was set at 50% by the year 2020, with solar power as the key driver, how much percentage of that target has been achieved today? 35%. No, not 35%. Another chance for Tonga College. Anyone? Not 40. Correct, Asa? is 13 or 14 percent. Your question, uh, Crystal. Question number two. Number two, your question. In Tonga's second NDC, or nationally determined contribution, 2020, one of the NDC targets is to plant trees by 2023. How many trees does this target specify to plant by 2023? 1,000? No. Trees. Not 1,000. Pass it on to you, Finefe um, Uyaki. How many trees? One million. Correct. One million trees. <laughs> and it's your question, Finefe Uyaki. Number four. Number four, your question is, what is a carbon sink? What is a carbon sink? Pass it on to Silolo. What is a carbon sink? Anyone from Tonga College? A metal made of carbon. Come again? A metal made of carbon. Sorry, good try, but no. The correct answer is a carbon sink is a natural or artificial reservoir that takes up and stores carbon. Your question, um, Silolo? Number seven. Number seven. Give one example of how ocean acidific acidification is affecting the marine life. Give one example of how ocean acidification is affecting marine life. Evaporation of seawater can, can be blown by the air in which it sticks to the leaves of trees. Sorry, not correct. Anyone from Loving Amalia? No one got that correct. The answer is it will affect the ecosystems and all living organi organisms that depend on it. For example, coral bleaching and death of coral. Your question, Sekope. Question number 11. Number 11, your question is, explain the main function of the ozone layer. It helps prevent the ultraviolet radiation from coming, from traveling straight into the Earth's surface. 
Okay, protect the earth. Yes, thank you. Give that to you. And the next question is yours, uh, Magoni. Question number nine. Number nine, Magoni, your question. One of the natural disasters is volcanic eruptions. Name the gas that is released from volcanic eruptions. Carbon dioxide. No, not carbon dioxide. I'll pass it on to you, Fanawa. Name one of the natural disaster is volcanic eruptions. Name the gas that is released from volcanic eruptions. Sulfur dioxide. Sulfur dioxide. Okay, I'll give it to you. It's only sulfur, even though it's saying sulfur dioxide. Um, and it's your question um, for an hour. Number 10. Atmosphere is the mixture of gases that surround the Earth. Name one of the gases. Atmosphere is the mixture of gases that surround the Earth. Name one of these gases. Hydrogen. Not correct. I pass it on to you, Crystal. Atmosphere is the mixture of gases that surround the Earth. Name one of these gases. Nitroxides. Come again. Nitroxides. Sorry, no. Another chance for Tonga College? Chlorodifluoromethane. Not correct. One of the answers you could have given is water vapor, or oxygen, or nitrogen, or greenhouse gases. No one got that right. And we're on to our last two questions. It's your question, Crystal. I'll take number six. Your question, what causes ocean acidification? What causes ocean acidification? Pass it on to you, uh, Finife Uyaki. What causes? Carbon dioxide in the atmosphere dissolved in the ocean water, which lowers, I am sorry, I'm giving you the answer. <laughs> I'll give you this question. As a result of volcanic eruption of Hunga Tonga, Hunga Hapai, on the 15th of January 2022, name another natural disaster that usually comes after the eruption. Tsunami. Correct. It's a tsunami or tidal wave. And the last question is yours, Finefe Uyaki. I'll give you one of these questions. Methane is a greenhouse gas. What is the chemical fem formula for methane? Methane is a greenhouse gas. What is the chemical formula for methane? Pass it on to you, Silolo. What is the chemical formula for methane? Anyone from Tonga College? HCO3. Good try, but no. The answer is CH4. And that brings us to the end of our, our first round. And the score is Tonga College with four points. And Lavenga Mali with two points. So a round of applause for our <laughs> contestants. We will now move on to our last 
um, round, and I'm sure that Living Amalia will catch up. So Tonga College, watch out, is our last uh, round. And our first question goes to you, Sekope. Question number two. Number two, your question is, who is the United Nations Secretary General for the UNFCCC? Who is the United Nations Secretary General for the UNFCCC? Sorry, pass it on to you, Sirolo. Who is the General Secretary, United Nations, for the UNFCCC? Last chance for you, Tonga College. No one got that right. The correct answer is Antonio Gutierrez. Our next question goes to Silolo of Living Amalia College. Number seven. Number seven. Yesterday, the Department of Climate Change and Ozone Division commemorated World Ozone, Ozone Day. What is the theme of this year's World Ozone Day? Built a resilient Tonga. Sorry, no. Pass it on to you for an hour. Yesterday, Department of Climate Change and Ozone Division commemorated World Ozone Day. What is the theme of this year's World Ozone Day? Last chance for Loving Amalie. Give it a go. Let us bring back the ozone layer. Good try, but that's not the correct answer. The correct answer is Montreal Protocol at 35, Global Cooperation Protecting All Life on Earth. Next question, it is yours for an hour. Question number nine. Nine? Number nine. What is the slogan for Tonga's longest serving bank in Tonga that supports climate change? What is the slogan for Tonga's longest serving bank in Tonga that supports climate change? GGB. No, I'm sorry, that's not the correct answer. Makoni, what is the slogan for Tonga's longest serving bank in Tonga that supports climate change. Haamoua Mutonga. Correct. Haamoua Mutonga. And it is the Tonga Development Bank. Your question, Makoni. Question number eight. Number eight. How many nationally determined contributions or NDC has Tonga produced and submitted to the UNFCCC? How many nationally determined contributions has Tonga produced and submitted to the UNFCCC? Four. No, not correct. Pass it on to you, Finefe Uyaki. How many nationally determined contributions, or NDC, has Tonga produced and submitted to the UNFCCC? Six. Good try, but no. Anyone from Living Amalia? Two. Correct. The answer is two. <laughs> For an hour, it's your question. Uh, sorry, Finifei Uyaki. Number one. 
Number one, your question is, who is the new director for energy in Tonga? Who is the new director for energy in Tonga? Pass it on to you, um, Crystal. Who is the new director for energy in Tonga? Um, Sorry, not correct. Last chance from Tonga College. Correct answer is Kakao Furiaki. And your question, Crystal? I'll take number six. Number six. Which department under Maytech has the mandate of managing Tonga's oceans? Which department under Maytech has the mandate of managing Tonga's oceans? Disaster management. Sorry. Pass it on to you, Sekope. Which department under MEDEC has the mandate of managing Tonga's oceans? Environment. Correct. It's the Department of Environment. And it's your question, Sekope. The available numbers. What number? Yes, the available numbers. We have three, four, five, 10, 11, 12. Number 12, your question is, what is the name of the city in Egypt that will host COP27 this year? Pass it on to um, Magoni. Sorry, Silolo. What is the name of the city in Egypt that will host COP27 this year? Your time is up. Another chance for Tonga College? Gotcha. Good try, but no. The correct answer is Sham El Sheikh or Sheik. And the detail question, Silolo. Ten. Number ten. Water scarcity is one of the impacts caused by climate change. Which island in Hapai is currently undergoing a water crisis? Water scarcity is one of the impacts caused by climate change. Which island in Hawaii is currently undergoing a water crisis? Four. Four. Not four, not correct. Pass that on to you for an hour. Which island in Hawaii is currently undergoing a water crisis? Oh, you're in Philippines. Sorry, Uyha can you speak up louder? We are in Philomia. No, not we are in Philomia. Anyone from? Lifuka. Not Lifuka. The correct answer is Nomuka. And it's your question for an hour. Number five, your question is? In July of this year, the Meteorology Department and the Maytag issued a drought warning for all of Tonga. Which islands in Tonga in the Tonga group was facing drought during this time? Which islands in the Tonga group was facing drought during July? And a warning was issued from the Meteorology Department. Sorry? The newest. The newest? Okay, I'll give it to you. New for all and new at top Thank you. And it's your question, Marconi. Question number three. 
Number three, m a c o n i o question. Spread GCCA plus Super is one of the sponsors of the secondary school's climate change quiz competition. What does the acronym SPREP stand for? SPREP. Secretariat of the Pacific Regional Environment Program. Correct. Thank you. Your question, Finefe Uyaki? Four. Number four, your question is. Which country in East Asia is the headquarters of the Green Climate Fund located? Which country in East Asia is the headquarters of the Green Climate Fund located? Your time is up. Crystal. <laughs> Which country in East Asia is the headquarters of the Green Climate Fund located? China. Sorry, no. Another chance for Tonga College? Japan. Not Japan. Correct answer is Indian in South Korea. And the last question is yours, Crystal. Who was Tonga's head of delegation to COP26? To COP25, the 25th session for, co of, for conference of the parties meeting that was held in Madrid, Spain in 2019. Who was Tonga's head of delegation? Honorable f a n e t u p o n b a b a I'm sorry, no. I'll pass it on to you, Sekope. Who was the, who was the head of Tonga's delegation to COP25? And this was in 2019, uh, the 25th session. And this conference was held in Madrid, in Spain. Um, the late Prime Minister, Aguilis p o h i b a Sorry, one last chance for the m e g a m a l i a Honorable Pohiva t u n e t o Correct. Former Prime Minister Honorable Pohiva t u n e t o And that brings us to the end of round two. And we have a tie. Tonga College gained another two points, and n a v i g a m a l i e another four points. So. Just uh, breathe in and out, and we'll do the death round. And this is our bonus questions. We have three questions, and whoever will win the most points after our three questions will be the winner of this year's climate change national quiz. So. Since we started with Tonga College, in the second round, we will now start again with Mukotu uh, Lavinga Malie Silolo. There is the question two, three, four. Two. Number two. Name one way of raising awareness on climate change to the general public. Name one way of raising awareness on climate change to the general public. Planting more trees. Come again. Planting more trees. No, I'm sorry. Sekope, uh, name one way of raising awareness on climate change to the general public. Provide your propaganda and posters. Provide, Come again? Pro provide propaganda and posters. Yes, we can put up more posters, brochures, public consultations. Thank you. Uh, next question is yours, uh, Sekope. It's three and four left. Question number four. Number four, your question 
the Montreal Protocol on Substances that deplete the ozone layer was globally signed in 1987. Over the years, it, undergone, it has undergone various revisions or amendments. What is the latest amendment to the Montreal Protocol? Face out of substances that are responsible for depleting the ozone. Sorry. Pass it on to you, Marconi. What is the name or what is the latest amendment to the Montreal Protocol? Climate Change Fund Act. No, not correct. Anyone from Tonga College? Management Act. No, correct answer is Kigali Amendment of 2016. And the last question goes to Lamega Maria, to you, Marconi. Deforestation is one of the main causes of climate change. Define deforestation. Deforestation is when we, we cut down trees and destroy it. Correct. <laughs> and after that, we still have a, a tie. We still have a tie, so we have to produce another question as to who will get the, the question. Do we have another question from the, from the climate change department? I'm sorry, we'll just have a little break while we get the, the other question. Maria with the final Oskoya at I Rocky. Kunamahanga. To what do you have a view? Economy at Mahanga Bay. We go strong. I am Molan Gamari. Mata, can we have a, another question? I think we've run out of, of questions here. Do we have another question? That will determine the first and second.
Question um, for an hour. We have one, two, three, four, five, six questions. Come again. Number four. Two, three, number four. Who is the director for the Department of Natural Disaster Management or NIMO? Who is the director? NIMO or the Department of Natural Disaster Management. Paula Ma. Sorry, it's not Paula. I'll pass it on to you, uh, Crystal. Who is the director for the Department of Natural Disaster Management, NIMO? Tonga College? I'm sorry, no one got that right. And it's Mafua Maka. So we'll move on again, we'll still move on. And this time, your question, Crystal. Number six. Number six, what is the theme for this year's National Climate Change Week? In English, please. Come again. Build resilient in Tonga. Build resilient in Tonga. Okay, I'll give it to you. Building a resilient Tonga. And we will stop there because Lamea Malia has got two points. And Tonga College has got an extra one point. So the total score is seven points for Tonga College and eight points for Loving and Malia College. Can we give both schools a big round of applause? We have got our winner of this year's uh, national quiz on climate change, which is Loving and Malia College. And I'm sorry, Tonga College, but you have come second. But we would like to congratulate Lavinga Malia College for winning this year's final game. Thank you, Mata. If you have a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little
tale kita pule oi va e potungao e ako me nga hiako nga awe to kita tanginastin kene fa hoko atu aki lea falopito I would like to firstly acknowledge the presence of His Almighty and I'm grateful for the gifts of life <coughs> for us all at this point of time in our lives. I would like to acknowledge Paula Mao, the CEO of Maydeg. Acknowledge also the hard work of the Department of Climate Change of uh, Maydeg uh, to host uh, this event. I would also like to acknowledge the schools who, are, who were competing uh, this week and also today. In particular, I'd like to acknowledge the following schools uh, who couldn't make it to the last four. Up for all uh, college, Takui Lao, uh, Queen Salote College, and also St. Andrews High School. And also, you know, thank you for all the other colleges who are here. Uh, uh, Tailulu, uh, Ocean of Light, Tonga College, Atele, and Lavenga Malie College, and also congratulations to Lavenga Malie uh, for winning the competition uh, today. I would also like to uh, acknowledge, you know, to Ifua Takapau uh, Tolo and the, uh, the quiz master or mistress, you know, for this uh, occasion. Uh, thank you for availing your time uh, to uh, um, uh, bring this uh, very entertaining. Uh, uh, sort of competition. I sat there, you know, and I thought, oh my God, there are questions here that I don't really know the answer for, you know, and I better go and, and study up, you know, on climate change. So we are hoping uh, that, uh, you know, uh, the combination, the relationship that we have developed with MADEC is going to continue so that we can uh, look at climate change. Uh, climate change, of course, affects all our lives in different ways. Climate change affects our health, our ability to grow food, our houses, our work, and our safety. And in our small island nation of Tonga, the sea level is rising. We have sought intrusion into our water tables. We have communities and schools such as Mango and Atata to relocate or rebuild because of climate change. I'm delighted to have been asked to be the guest of honor for this occasion for several reasons. Uh, firstly, this is the first ever secondary school quiz competition on the important topic, uh, topic of climate change organized by the Department of Climate Change in Maydeck. And as I said before, we have those eight schools and we are hoping that next year th there would be more high schools to join the quiz uh, competition itself. The second reason for my being happy today to be part of this event is that the Tonga National Curriculum has been reviewed and we are in the process of writing the new one and the new one would include a lot of clim on climate change. Right from early years, young children are taught basic knowledge about the weather. For example, in class three science, students are specifically taught to recognize the normal weather patterns like rain, storm, drought, etc., and also the measurements that are involved uh, in uh, looking at the heat, the coldness of it, amount of rainfall, and so forth. In class four science, the students are able to identify the seasons and explain the seasonal weather patterns and its relationship to soil formation. Form three and form four science classes, uh, we are working together with the University of Otago so that uh, students can be able to explain the chemical composition, formation, and their role that contributes to to global warming and also in class 11 science or form 4 science our students study an organism in their local environment and describe the impact of human activities on the study of ecosystem and how resources can be conserved and managed sensibly. The Ministry of Education will work closely as I said before with the Department of Climate Change to develop uh, the relevant uh, teaching resources for climate change. Further, as we go into the establishment of the Tonga National University next year, it will have, in, within the uh, already established in the bill, it will have a national center for climate change and renewable energy, which shows that the government uh, has got a commitment to addressing the issue of climate change for Tonga and her people. 
Lastly, I'd like to, uh, on behalf of the Acting Minister for Education, Honorable William Yuwaske Ladu and the Ministry of Education, I extend my grateful thanks to the Department of Climate Change and MADEC for inviting the Ministry of Education to be present in this uh, important event. It is our hope and our wish that we will continue to work together in future quiz competitions for secondary schools. Hopefully next year it's going to be uh, extend to primary schools. You know, you would be surprised primary schools know more about climate change than secondary schools. Uh, so <laughs> we are hoping that this is going to be uh, another way of uh, raising awareness of climate change issues in Tonga and beyond. Malo Abito. Thank you to our cast of honor for delivering the remarks um, from the CEO for Education and Training, Dr. Dan Kinastin. We are moving toward the ends of our program, and I would like to invite Ms. Falorita Silla um, from the Department of Climate Change to deliver the closing remarks. Following that, I would like to invite the head tutor for Dailulu College to end our program with a closing prayer. Fagafalanga <laughs> Fafikawe <laughs> Ko rugby fa malo ko fa malo hen ki otua ko hi ko nita taki lelei ai fi au hi ahoni otawa umai ki fa ose polo kalama ne ongo ko ifko tu tu na ifra hoko he tangata ka ko no fra hoko ko eiki pe pe ota fa feta ai ai o ka fa malo la hi hen ki he fa fe fa lang langi CEO e pot ngau ya ko pe mo ngau e tangi na steam. Yolototo, Kakifia Femai, Kipolokalama Hotani, Kokao Mai, Kokoya, with Raloto Lahi, my Fana Wako, Peheke Kaufayako, the Peheke Tunga Matu, Abba Mifinimatua, Umafa Hok Fatonia, to Pemeva Akoya of Filidio Akio Ea, Yamal Maluko and Mateki, away from Malo Henniki, see over Mateki, Paula Mau, Taltali Lele, Fraf Falang Langi, the Mekau Frafe. Pepeheke ngā hi whaiako mo i kau whaiako. Ngā hi ako mo i kau whaiako, nena o kau mai, i hi whiau hi quiz ko eni, i hi whiliriu ake ea. O koe whua mālo, heni ki tale kita o waa whiliriu ako ea, ko ista tui a fitu mālolo, ko hi ko ne tataki lelei, pe mo ne poupou, ki polo kalama o e oahoni, pepeheke ngā hi polo kalama o fuko tūtuu, ki wiki o whiliriu ako ea. Ko i kuna e aho ko e ni o kāngē pe e ko e kawenga o wiki feliuri ako e a ta kanga e tau fohe ki a tonga o tu loa tau i kuna pe i e tau kau fa kataha pe mo e tata ke eiki o e pe foki a e fa fufunga e te fa malolo te honga mo ni pe mehe climate change pe mo mehe teki ki quiz master mistress tu i fua te kapau tolo ta ta kile lei mai mo e fa tau lama fe au hi quiz o hotani. We guys saw the hataha get to Ifua, go a tau lahi ne fa hok fatongia, ye put ngayako, go fayako, pe go ye pen and if a fataki mai, and ahi fi ahi quiz, for nua and ahiako, and I tau maiki moa, he from a full dupu, Kok maulea, maulao, go koloa, and mau mawa to Ifua, go he get to coni mai, king a hingawe, if a hoko he, but I feel you aqua air, for a taha pe my pot ngawe, or ye go yako me a ICEO. O wai fa malo lo to honga heni ki ka pule ako ko to ape singa hiako siasi pe mo pule anga na mo tali lele ai fa afe ni fa yatu 
ke moka o mai mo fana wa ko pe mo ka o fa ya ko ke fofo a secondary schools climate change quiz competition fa ma lo he ni ke nga hitimi ko to e valo e ka mata ake fe au hi he falai te ko o si ma lo la he te te ho ko mo ka o mai ko po po le le ya ke no fa ma hu inga e ai wiki o fe liu ake e ya pe mo no te ke ko e ka veinga ta ka nga e ta fo he ke to nga tu lo Talamonuat ke te ki mo toko tope to alfa ikiatu malo Kolbe ke tau fausi ka to nga hon o kresu mo e ku suklais to to mai fe milo mari man yon ay alfa no fo ye ting mo tulun yo na hil ka fe bi o tangat amen Kui lama katu ia program kui hau ia honi kui fe auki ai ngah ia ko malunga pika final orang kui ni faham kui ia ihe honi ihe kawin kui kui ia kui takang ai tapu he kui tonga tulo kama ge ngai kui seman kui kama dah pe kui fa ni nama kui ia kama tu kui ia ai sen final orang ia tu kui ia kui ia kui final orang ai kui Hoje não vai, já vem a Mari, está em Lulu, pelo amor de Cristo, toma, e a Dina, o Vicuna, e a Final of Mari, a Vida Vida Cristo, toma, pela amor de Mari, na Mahanga Tu Oua, e a Ose Ufeu, e a Fai-me Kore, e a Cristo, que te vão morrer a Feu, e a Ona Tabeba, aqui, o Lacareba, a Lama Mari, e a Uia, Ibu aku ni kau kau ni kau ni aku ni aku ni terik tak kau ni tu aku kuat tu kau dah melihat mahu ni tau kau melihat kini ni apa yang kau ni kau lama mahu kau ni kau ni aku ni tau ni kau ni melayu ayah kau kau ni perlu kau ni ayah kau ni kau ni kau ni sila pagi kau tau ni aku ni kau ni ini time ni orang begi ni lulus itu pun orang kau tu kau kau ni ayah kau ni kau perlu kau ni ayah Kau faham betul kan? Kau yang ni, yang orang fikir pun ni mah, kata orang ni orang lelaki tu, biar ada lelaki tu, ada, meh, live stream kau yang orang fikir pun ni mah, kau, alat kisah 